Welcome to Lex's World, everybody. So this week I was gonna make a video on how to create feminized cannabis seeds yourself, but realized that in order to discuss a topic like that, you first gotta know how to collect pollen off of male cannabis plants, and how to handle it, and how to pollinate females. So let's talk about that today. As most beginner growers know, your female plants yield all of the smokable buds and the males are usually tossaways unless you need them to pollinate females for breeding purposes down the road. You will be collecting the pollen off of male plants that are in flowering phase roughly three to five days after the male pollen sacs start opening up. You need to collect the pollen when it is mature. Mature pollen should be a yellow color. If it's white or something kind of like white, it's not mature yet. All you're going to do is place some aluminum foil under the branches once the pollen matures and give those branches a jiggle, letting the yellow powder fall onto the foil where it can be easily collected and handled on your little foil plate. Some people actually collect the pollen sacks, and there's nothing wrong with doing that too. Now for storage. For short-term storage, like a few days, you can just cut a couple branches off of your breeding male and store those branches in a glass of water under low lighting conditions. For long-term storage, you can put the foil into an airtight container and place it in the freezer. Pollen normally becomes useless quickly, but in a fridge or a freezer environment with low humidity and low temperatures, it's stores for a while. It'll store for about three years this way, with the viability going down slowly. Try to remove foliage remnants from your pollen powder before storage. The foliage can hold moisture and wreck the pollen. You really have to control humidity where you store the stuff. Lots of people will store it with a little bit of rice in the container just to keep the humidity down. When it's pollination time, round the point your breeding females are four weeks into flowering phase and the stigma on them just start to curl and discolor, take your pollen out of the freezer and let it warm up slowly to room temperature before you open the container it's in. Opening the container right away can draw in warm air and cause condensation inside the container you used and kill the pollen. Thawing and refreezing it repeatedly drops viability too, FYI. Now, normally in the natural world, pollen uses the wind to fly off the males and land on the sticky stigma of female plants. So for imprecise pollination, you can literally place a male in front of a fan and let the pollen spread all over the grow room. For more precise pollination, which is what I recommend, uh, especially after the fact when the male plant is long gone, you can apply the pollen physically with your fingers or a brush directly onto the buds of the female you want to pollinate. You do not even have to apply it all over the place. Generously pollinating a single large branch of buds on one female successfully will produce a high number of seeds on that one branch, probably far more seeds than you need. If you've pollinated the female successfully, bud growth will come down to a stop shortly after and seed production will begin. By the way, wash your hands and be careful where the pollen goes. This stuff is potent and if it gets into the air in the wrong grow area, you can lose a whole crop of females by accidentally pollinating them. On that note, that's all I have, and I guess next week we're going to be talking about feminized seeds and how you can make them. Be sure to subscribe to Lex's World and hit that like button. We'll see you next time.